What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back adventurers, because this little section of the video is directed at you. Everyone who either goes hiking, running, backpacking around countries, well, you guys gotta take a look at this backpack. It's known as the Chameleon Pack, and it's called that for good reason. So first of all, yeah, it's got a little bit of camo feel to it, and it looks like your average maybe military backpack that you can unzip and get access to all your whatever you carry at a particular given moment. But they thought, why stop there? Why not take it to the next level? This backpack actually turns itself into a chair. That's right. So if you're going camping or something and you're backpacking and backpacking and you're running with your backpack and finally you need a breather, you simply unzip this thing and get this. It turns into a chair. So you could take a break, empty a few pockets out because it has this pocket system, which is the coolest thing ever where you could ju they just automatically fall to the side and you don't have to unpack anything for it to turn into its chair form and you have access to everything simultaneously. So if you got an orange in there, just take it out, start munching on it, sit in your comfy chair and you're in the middle of the wilderness in the middle of the Sahara Desert or something of that sort. The backpack is also modular so you can actually take it apart and have certain parts and not have certain parts. So if you want to take one piece and give it off to your kid, you can actually go and and do that as well this backpack is absolutely insane i can't even call it a backpack it is what it's called it's called a chameleon pack and it deserves its name so if you guys have the, a chance and you're an adventurer you're a hiker you're simply looking for a backpack that you know turns into a chair because why not even in the city this might be useful it might even be useful if you're just going for a stroll someday and you just feel like sitting for a little bit if you need that go ahead and check out the link below with that said let's start this video What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. One of my most successful recent videos was the AR video. And of course, AR stands for augmented reality and it's about to be the next big thing. It all started with Pokemon Go, you know, where everyone was, you know, throwing their phones around and there was Pokemon in midair and we were battling each other and it was pretty ridiculous for a good solid month exactly around this time last year. Well, one year later, Apple decided that it's gonna release something known as AR Kit with its all new iOS 11. Now this isn't out yet to the public. However, if you are a developer, you are probably going nuts right now because this is the next big thing. So first of all, people decided that they were gonna put Starbucks on the table right here. So if you are too poor to go and get yourself some actual Starbucks, then that's probably the way to go. If you're a little lonely and need a toy to play with, why not have some Star Wars stuff? You can put a spaceship inside of the sky or you know what, you can shoot some people. And maybe you wanna ball up right now because why the heck not? Oh, he just got stolen. That AR ball just went underneath this dude's legs. That is absolutely insane. Finally, if you need someone to talk to or maybe just to watch someone dance for a little bit because you're just don't have any friends then this is probably the way to go as well now as you guys can see this cool little thing shows how much potential ar has you know for the longest time we weren't able to truly do this because well our phones just didn't have the processing power but now with iphone 8 and all the other android phones out there they have the processing power to put up a whole frame of an entire house as you guys can see right here and not only can you put that frame up and move around but you can move inside of that frame and it will barely be laggy at all you can look out the window heck you can actually customize that frame and turn it into a house if you need one so as you guys can see if minecraft was fun and people thought it was a good idea to build themselves mansions and that imagine what people are going to do with this we're gonna have real life Minecraft houses. We're gonna have Starbucks on the table with dancing anime characters chilling in every room. And of course, not to mention, you gotta top it off with the spaceship in the backyard. It's gonna transform reality. And of course, everyone thought VR was the next big thing. But before we jump to VR, we have to take this step instead. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this top whatever the heck, however many AR things that was. I thought it would be a cool idea to basically take a bunch of abstract type of concept and, and shove them into one little video. And just to see how everything relates. You know, the house goes with the lamp and the lamp goes with the person who's dancing. That goes with the Starbucks. This is what life could look like in VR once that happens but before we get to that we need some holograms here and there sometimes and ar is the ultimate way to do that and the reason being is that games and they're just office tools to apps to clash of clans to everything that like is in the phone ecosystem is about to get taken to the next level if this is pulled off correctly you guys remember how massive pokemon go was and that wasn't even true augmented reality this is the next level now 
I have to give some credit to Snapchat as well because we saw how successful Snapchat is with their filters and things and that is a on a level a type of augmented reality as well but as you guys can see this video is going to be my top five six seven eight nine ten ish of the best I could possibly find I did have another top ten but those are kind of old hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off